In this video, we're getting more practice with the Russian peasant method. So let's say we're doing 38 times 15. What do we do? What does this equal? Okay, well, we take 32 and we half it. That's the, that's the Russian peasant method. We half the first number and double the second. So what do we get if we half 38? Well, we get 19. And then we double it, double 15, we get 30. So the problem that, that, ha that arises right here is that, oh, well, we can't really have 19 because then we would get a decimal and we wouldn't be able to turn this original expression into an easy problem. So what do we do? Well, on the side here, I'm going to write this down. Um, what you would think of is we have 19 times 30. That means we're going to have 19 30s added together. So we can think of 19 as... 18, an even number, plus 1. And that is going to be multiplied by 30. And this allows us to keep going with the Russian peasant method. What we're going to do is not think of 19 30s, but 18 and then 1 30. And we're going to keep that 1 30 behind. And we're going to write it here. And the other 18, we're going to move on and divide it by 2 and half it to get 9. And then we're going to double the 30 to get 60. And again, all I did right there is say, oh, well, we have 19 times 30, and I can't have 19. But let me think of 19 as 18 and 1. And one of the 30s will leave behind up here, and we'll add that into our answer. But we'll keep going with the other 18 30s, right? Because 19 is just made up of 18 and 1. So here we run into the same issue. 9 is not divisible by 2. But 9 times 60 means we're going to have 9 60s. So let's think of 9 as an even number. So as 8 plus 1. That is going to be multiplied by 60. So again, we'll keep one of the 60s behind. We'll add that into our total later. But for the 8 remaining 60s, we'll half those and get 4 times 120. And then we keep going. We can half 4 to 2 times 240, and half 2 to 1 times 480. And now we basically have everything we need for our answer. 1 times 480 equals 480. So altogether, to find the product of these two numbers, we add 30 and 60 and 480. Well, what's that? Well, I know that 480 plus 100 is 580, right? But 60 and 30 is 90, so that's 10 less. It's going to be 570. And that's our answer for this problem. Let's try another one. What if I tried something like, let's have a little bit smaller. What if I had 26 times 13? Well, actually, I want to, because 13 is half of 26, and I want to avoid that. Um, 26 times 14, what do we do? Well, we half 26 and we get 13. We double 14 and we get 28. And again, with 13 times 28, that means we have 13 groups of 28. So why not think of it as 12 and 1? And that's going to be multiplied by 28. Okay, so if that's true, we can leave one of the 28s behind. We can write that here. And then move forward with the 12 28s that are left. And we don't want to solve 12 by 28, so we half 12 to get 6. And we double 28 to get 56. We half 6 to get 3. Double 56 to get 112. And again, we can't half 3, right? Because, well, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. And the goal of this method is to simplify it down until we get 1 times another number, and that will help us find the answer. So what do we do? Well, 3 times 112, can't we just think of 3 as 2 and 1, right? 3 groups of 112. Okay, if we do that, well, 1 of the 112s we can leave up here and add that into our total later. But we can go forward with the other two 112s. So, 
we have 2 times 112, we half the 2 and get 1. We double 112 and get 224. So now, what is 1 times 224? We always stop when we reach the stage. Well, it's 224. And we want to add everything else here. So 4 and 2 is 6, plus 8 is 14. 2 and 1 is 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 1, 2, 3. So 364 is the answer of this product. All right, hope that's